equalization, or EQ, one of the most misused tools in the engineer's toolbox. And in the next few videos, we're going to get into some equalizer techniques, and I will show you the different types of equalizers. There really is only two types of equalizers, the parametric and the shelving, but there's many variations on those two types. The parametric EQ was invented by the brilliant mind of George Massenburg back in 1967. The parametric EQ is really a favorite of recording and mixing engineers. The parametric is also the most popular equalizer in mastering. It can be used to surgically remove certain defects of the audio. You can get inside and really fine tune those frequencies and boost or cut them. A simpler non-parametric equalizer has fixed frequency and bandwidth and only the level is adjustable per band. And what makes the parametric EQ so powerful is the Q and how the bandwidth interacts with the Q. And the choice of how high or low the Q depends on the situation. A gentle equalizer almost always sounds more natural than a sharp one. So a Q of about 0 0.6 or 0 0.7 will definitely sound more natural and musical. Shelving equalizers. A shelving equalizer affects the level of the entire low frequency or high frequency range below or above the specified frequency. And in mastering, shelving equalizers take on an increased role because we're dealing with the overall program material, not just individual tracks. Shelving would be more like going to your car stereo or your home stereo and turning up the treble or turning up the bass. That's really a shelving equalizer.